hey where's this scene welcome back to the channel my name is Jay and in this video I wanted to do a video to show you the back end of the Davinex uh, dashboard so you would see what to expect when you actually sign up and start to get trading um, I know I got a couple questions about um, how the payments would work and the allocations and so on so the best way to do it is just to make a short video just to show you guys um, how it actually works right but before we get started i have something really cool for you if you want to try darwin x the first link in the description will take you over to the site and you would get the uh first time sign up fee from being 95 euros to 10 euros yeah 10 euros so it's a good way to, to get your feet wet and get started with building your track record in order to attract investor capital in the future now i will say what i have been told is that this only has a hundred spots available and it will expire on the 29th of february so if you do try to uh, access the discount for 10 euros but you don't get it it's probably because you took a bit too long but in that case don't worry i still got you you could type in twj20 and you will get 20 euro discount on the first time sign up fee so yeah first link in the description once we get into the video i will leave it up on your screen so you can you know see it and see the coupon code and everything but yeah um let me show you how that would work first of all before we get into the chat All right, so once you head on over to DarwinX, whether you use the link in the description or you just go to DarwinX, uh, zero com and you go to sign up, you will put in your information here to register and then you would select the platform that you choose to use. I use MT4, I code in MT4, right? So you would choose the platform. Um, you will click there and then you would say, I have a discount coupon, click on that. And you could type in uh, TWJ10 and hit apply. Now, when you hit apply, you could see that it actually changes from 95 to 10 euros. As I was saying, if you do take a bit too long or we pass the expiry date that I was given um, and you can't get the 10, you could type in TWJ20 and hit apply and you would see that you'll get 20 euros off of the first time sign up fee. So yeah, that is how that works. So now let me jump across to the back end uh, for the DarwinX dashboard and take a look at that. So we here in the DarwinX dashboard, as you can see, this is where I'm at for February thus far. Um, yeah, so this is the 13th of February. We could refresh it and then take a look at um, all the stats. So you can see the Darwin was created on the 13th. Um, we currently here, we are up 8.87% with a 2.48% drawdown. Uh, we have the one seed allocation, which was the beginning of February, which I did the video on with the 25 euro, or the 25k euro, right? And you can see this is the chart itself after the uh, risk engine from DarwinX actually does the mitigation and reduces risk. So this is what the equity curve of the actual Darwin is. However, the signal itself, uh, this is my signals equity curve. So you can see it here, you know, from the start of when the account was started. So uh, the cool thing about this, you could actually look at it as a uh, bar chart uh, or candlestick chart so it i mean the, the platform pretty pretty cool the way they do it right so this shows the allocation so this is the uh 25k allocation and it shows the period of time so we started here basically the first of february and we are at this point right now um i believe if the allocation does go up you would get another bar and it will show the the new allocation now keep in mind once you're in Darwin Silver, the allocation lasts for three months. So if we have 25K in January, it will last January, February, March. Then it will disappear. But then you'd also have, if you have allocations from February, that'll be February, March, April. 
so it that is how it works all right so silver lasts three months our gold will last six months all right you can see here we have the performance uh december now my account was created on the 24th i had to go through the uh, two week training phase and then i got it down in the following week so this is just 0.32 percent that it made in december after christmas and we are 5.9 for january and we currently sit at uh, 2.47 which isn't bad right we have some more metrics here that you could take a look at um, feel free to pause it and take a look at any piece of information that you want if you do have a question leave a comment and i'll try to answer you or do a video to follow up right because there is quite a bit to go through right um you can see the most profitable days and the worst days that you have percentage wise and you have the drawdown so this shows at any point in time what the drawdown for that specific day was so you can see my uh 2.48 percent drawdown was right here right now something that i found that was really decent if you come across here to assets and time frames now i only trade the nasdaq i don't see the point in trading multiple symbols it it's not necessary um, you can get all the movement and all the pips that you want from one pair so you can see i just trade 100 percent nasdaq and at the moment the helios bot has taken 787 trades let's trade quite a bit uh if you are somebody that does trade discretionary this would be pretty interesting for you to know what is your best performing day so if you have losing days consistently on a monday probably just stop trading on a monday and see if that would affect your overall return so yeah so this is the idea of um these metrics right now let me show you on the side here now you can see i actually have a quote of 108.88 now this is because i'm up 8.8 roughly percent um so i guess that is how they value your ticker if you have a negative drawdown then you would be less than 100 but 100 is your starting point all right then you have your position overall with all the other Darwins competing at silver so you can see at the moment we have 5630 um traders but i'm at position 251 which is not bad and this is the information that will take you from silver to gold now you have to hit a 20 percent return and you have to stay within this return to drawdown 2.5 to 2.5 um what i've also been told is even though you hit this metric the 20 percent and the 2.5 to 2.5 you still need to have at least an eight month track record so uh if this is your goal there is no point in rushing you could take your time and basically look for about 2.5 percent a month and within the eight months that should get you to 20 percent and once you maintain that return to drawdown you should be fine uh, you can see for February, we're currently at 81.45 rating. So we guaranteed allocation at the end of the month if I stop trading right now. Um, now, obviously, the higher this number goes is the more allocation that you would get. So I'll show you where we at with allocation at the moment. All right. So you can see this is return for this month. And this was the last five months and five months being in my instance like january and end of december right um my january's position was 390 and you know we made some gains on that and we currently have 25k allocation so before i show you the payout let me go to darwin ie and we just click on my darwin now once you do this this would show you what your allocation for the upcoming month is right so it'll show you where you are right now and remember this this will fluctuate until the end of the month when they do the final calculation and then they will give you the allocation for the upcoming month if you do hit the um the correct return right so you can see right now 
we are at 81.45 and this would guarantee a 30k allocation which would be for March. No. As you can see in the rating we fall within the 280 um, like position and top 5% are traders and in allocations. So you can see this is how the allocation works. For every single month you could get an allocation. Uh, so this was my allocation for February and you can see it's a solid gray color but this um, hatch pattern is where we currently are in February so at the end of February if I do maintain where I am right now I would get it to take it and then we'll go to March if I do get more gains on your account keeping the drawdown low um, the allocation should work right so this is how this actually works and the positioning so this shows if you um, had an increase in position over the last month. So you can see here we are 390 and then the current position is 251. So yeah. Um, all right. So the most important thing which most people would want to know about is the payouts. So if you go to payment and we go to allocation. So this is how this, this dashboard looks. It shows you what the current capital under management is. So we have the 25k um so if we have next month's allocation and we do maintain 30k it should be at about 55 and based on my trades we made for the 25k this is not for the 100k that you start trading with. this is the 25k we made about 564 dollars and well not dollars euro and 28 cents right uh, which is a 2.26 percent return high watermark return now based on that my 15 percent performance fee is right here you can see it would be paid out on april 1st and it is about 81 or 84.64 uh, euro right now as this grows as the capital grows your payouts will grow so the whole aim is to try to be as consistent as possible and then this would start to grow and be consistent with time so yeah you can see this is this is where we are this is how the back end dashboard would look like um for earnings you would need to hit the threshold in order to withdraw for everything to populate in this area right here right so um yeah this i, I think i mean this should help uh, if anyone has any questions don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know and drop a comment with your ticker symbol so we could do videos and start looking at everyone's performance so yeah that is it i believe that is it for now if you do happen to sign up um with darwin send me your ticker and i would make custom tools for you guys to help you with your trading on darwin x um that would be directly integrated with the DownX, you know, uh, MT4 platform. If you use MT4, because I only code in MT4 anymore, right? So yeah, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video.